uh, Lucius Harris on the floor for the Cavaliers. Lucius at 6'5 out of Long Beach State. Of course, Lucius Harris, 10 years a member of this New Jersey Net squad. And uh, for Harris, who's really been shooting the basketball well. How about in his last four games for Lucius, averaging nine uh, plus a game and better than 54% from the floor. And Mark, he's, he started to find the stroke. And, and that it has been a delight for Paul Silas and the coaching staff. No question. Uh, it's been about a month into the season. And it's a good sign that he's starting to knock those shots down. A pick and roll basketball for the Cavaliers, denied by Jersey. Travis Best will push it. And Lucius Harris came up with a rip away. Scalabrini played a rather key role for the uh, shooting the basketball from uh, three point land uh, last year. And there, although the ultimate loss to the Detroit Pistons, now uh, Jason Collins going to get whistled basically for just uh, drilling Lucius Harris as Harris was trying to uh, chase around that pick that Collins was setting. Well, that was the old uh, makeup call from the other end that uh, we what? talk about. And what? As, uh, as players, you know. Say not. Well, you know, I thought those words were never to be used in uh, the NBA vernacular. <laughs> Makeup call. That's Lucius Harris, and that sweet stroke and that jumper. Oh, has he been shooting it well for the Cavaliers and kind of giving something to his old teammates? That always feels good, doesn't it? Well, you know, he's got the juices flowing a little bit tonight. Definitely uh, would like to play well against his former team. First quarter is complete here on NBA TV, and the Cavs lead the Nets by a score of 28 to 23. Well, Lucius Harris. Uh, just wonder uh, how much adrenaline excitement is going through him after 10 years in his career with these New Jersey Nets. And now starting to become that uh, Cavalier scoring weapon off the bench as we are inside the minute mark. Now uh, here in uh, the first half. LeBron James with a 14 foul. Harris on that baseline slash. Left hand delivery. Lucius Harris. LeBron James continues to uh, be magnificent distributing the basketball. Well, Magic Johnson like pass there, being able to see the floor from the top of the key and deliver the money right when it's needed. Good analogy. Right, let's take a look at our Pontiac excitement replay. And Mark, when you talk about excitement, you're talking about, you mentioned LeBron James, Magic Johnson SC in the floor like that. Well, that Magic has such a great ability, you know, at six foot nine to see the floor and, and hit, hit the guys right on the money, right when they needed it. And LeBron James has that same type of ability. 53 to 44 at the break. And another guy that can really stretch the defense, you know, a sharp shooter from the outside. I think mm -hmm. obviously Lucius Harris starting to pick that up for him and giving him that. Snow lost it. Harris got it back. LeBron James going glass and it would not stay in the hole. Harris got rejected from behind, but he's going to shoot it three times on that Travis Best New Jersey foul. A little flurry of action there. New Jersey tried to kick it out, thinking the clock was down. Travis Best comes from behind and. Left arm, Mark, looked like a, might have got some basketball to Travis Best. Frustrated, thought they had a good play defensively, but it's, most of the time when you come from behind and try to block a shot, they're, you're going to get the foul call. Well, Lucius Harris is standing at the free throw line and saying, wait, when are you going to give me the basketball so I could shoot it and quit uh, going through this debate with Jason <laughs> Kidd and Travis Best and uh, this New Jersey ball club? Well, Lucius Harris, Mark, 54 playoff games with Jason Kidd and Richard Jefferson during the course of uh, those two big years back-to-back -back runs to the finals for the Jersey Nets. So uh, that's why Jim Paxson went out and got uh, the likes of, of Lucius and Scott Williams, guys, not only just veterans, but veterans that have been through uh, long runs through May and June at NBA playoff time. That's invaluable, isn't it? It is invaluable. I mean, Lucius Harris, you know, people talked about him struggling a little bit early, but they didn't get Lucius Harris for November. They got Lucius Harris for April and May and hopefully June. But, you know, he's one of those guys that knows how to get it done come playoff time. But the Nets, give them credit. They came back strong in the third quarter. They did, but the Lucius Harris three free throws has the Cavaliers up three. Fourth quarter next. But that 9-0 run mark from Jersey to start the third quarter got him back into it. 
They certainly did. They came out strong at the beginning. We were aggressive, got the Cavs in foul trouble. And, uh, Lucius Harris has hit four straight free throws. Cavaliers up by four. A couple block shots. Production, you hear that word all the time. You know, you get on the court, the Cavaliers get their hands on the ball. Good job by Lucius Harris. Well, a sensational defensive strip from Harris as he picked the pocket of his former teammate, Richard Jefferson, then went and got the loose basketball. I think he might not know no a few tendencies there. <laughs> I believe uh, that's correct. Alonzo Morning, left block against Zadrunas. Morning wants this, you can see it. Alonzo never got it to the rim with that jump hook of his. This is Harris on the floor for the Cavaliers. Cavaliers going to get in LeBron James' hands against Richard Jefferson. Special moment, maybe? Shot clock at five. James will turn the corner. This is Lucius Harris. He'll bury a three. The stroke that's pure from Lucius Harris. Cavaliers by six. The former New Jersey net doing a little take that against his <laughs> former mates. You don't think he enjoyed that a little bit? Sticking the dagger into his old team. I'll tell you what, the Cavaliers got to be excited. These guys are playing hard, and they're finishing games. That's what you have to do in this league. You got to close games in the fourth quarter. You set it up. LeBron, once again, unselfish, hits the open guy. And Lucius pops up and makes a shot. Oh, look at the reaction. Yeah, Lucius Harris with a little bit of a salute, getting uh, the glad hand from his Cavalier teammates. 16-8 Cavalier run, the last 5-13. Hey, Mark, this is five games in a row now that Lucius Harris has been shooting the basketball at better than 50%. That's why we try to tell the Cavalier fans, don't give up on this guy because he came out of the shoot with a new ball club struggling with his J a little bit. Well, that's, you know, and I mentioned it earlier. The Cavaliers didn't get Lucius Harris for November <laughs> or December even, but they got him for April, and he's going to be ready to play when the time is ready, and he's already starting to do it. Yep, huge dividends. Jefferson had it partially rejected. Harris will give it up to James, and LeBron says it's over, and you can book this one to the Cavaliers. Eighth straight win here at Gund Arena for the wine and gold after the opening night loss to Indiana. And the Cavaliers have their first eight game home win streak. We mentioned earlier, got to go all the way back to December of the 96 97 season through the early portion of the calendar year 97.